Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you calculation of transconductance and drain resistance for linear region. In my last video, I have explained small signal analysis and in which I have explained you small signal model of MOSFET where I have explained as if you change parameters like VGS and VDS, then how much change that will happen in drain current. That is what I have already derived in my last video. In this drain current, this GM that is transconductance and this RD that is drain resistance. And for a calculation of GM, you should know GM is partial differentiation of drain current with respect to VGS, where we keep VDS constant and drain conductance that is 1 by RD. That drain conductance is partial differentiation of drain current with respect to VDS, where we keep VGS constant. So here I will derive this GM and RD for linear region. In my last video, I have derived GM and RD for saturation region. Right. Now I will derive GM and RD for linear region. So first of all, you should know what is the basic equation of drain current which is there with linear region. That already that I have already explained that in my earlier videos based on MOSFET. Right. So, here I am directly going to write that equations first. So, you should know for linear region, for linear region, value of VDS that has to be, that has to be lower than VGS minus VTH. Right. Value of drain to source that should be lower than VGS minus VTH. That is the basic condition for linear region. And in this, in this, in this drain current, drain current that is mu COX dash into W by L into VGS minus VTH into VDS minus VDS square by 2. So, this is the basic drain current equation for linear region where VDS is lower than VGS minus VTH. Right. Now, as I have told you, for a calculation of GM means transconductance. What is the basic condition for a calculation of GM? Basic condition is VDS is constant where you need to find partial differentiation of ID with respect to VGS. Right. So, GM is differentiation of ID with respect to VGS where we keep VDS constant. So, here you just differentiate this with respect to VGS. So, mu COX dash into W by L that is constant. If you differentiate this with respect to VGS, only VGS that is available here. So, this differentiation is 1 into VDS and this is 0. So, total differentiation of this term that is that is VDS only. Right. So, this is transconductance for linear region. Right. And if you wanted to have drain resistance then first you need to find uh, first you need to find gd right you see what is gd gd that is drain conductance and that is partial differentiation of drain current with respect to vds where vgs is constant so here this gd that is differentiation of id with respect to vds where vgs that we keep constant so, here if you differentiate this, see this is constant mu COX dash into W by L that is constant and if you, if you see this term, then you see this term differentiation with respect to VDS. So, VDS is 1, right. So, 1 into this, so that is VGS minus VTH and this differentiation that is twice of VDS. So, 2, 2 will get cancelled. So, here you will be having minus VDS. So, this is what drain conductance and you should know what is drain conductance? Drain conductance that is drain conductance that is 1 by RD. So, from that drain resistance that will be 1 by GD. So, that will gives you RD. So, you see L divided by L divided by mu COX dash into W into VGS minus VTH minus VDS, right. 
that is how rd drain resistance that is there with us here here now if you observe this equation rd so you see that is purely depending on biasing voltage so drain resistance that will change is with respect to biasing voltage so here so here you if you observe this equation of drain resistance that is purely based on voltage that we apply at biasing so you can say drain resistance that is varying with respect to biasing voltage so this mosfet that we can use it as voltage variable resistor right that is one application which is there with which is there with mosfet right where as if you change voltage you can change resistor as per this equation where you need to control vgs and vds those are biasing voltage now i just want to explain you this value of gm and rd with respect to characteristics right so here in characteristics you can observe one thing see here see this is this is the id with respect to vds mosfet characteristics in which as if vds voltage that is lower than vgs minus vth then in this direction characteristic is there for linear region right and as if you talk about id with respect to vgs characteristics then see by this red color we are having characteristics for linear region right this is what we are having for linear region right now if you observe if you observe this characteristics then you see here in this red portion graph see by having v g of d we can understand this characteristics in which see as if you keep vds zero as if you keep vds zero then g of d that is this where vds is zero so here voltage part will be vgs minus vth right so that will be this point that will be this point let me make a mark over here where vds is zero and this slope this slope that will be that will be x that is getting explained over here as per g of d which is this differentiation right see id with respect to vds that is a slope of this graph now if you increase vds then you will be moving towards this side so as if you increase vds up to some extent let us consider this point so at this point whatever slope is there that is what g of d right and if you talk about g of m then in g of m if you see this characteristics in linear region this slope that is purely based on value of vds so if you have lower value of vds you will be having lower slope over here as per this formula directly and if you have higher value of vds you will be having higher slope right and if you increase vds beyond vgs minus vth then there will be saturation region as per this black color characteristics so that is how formulas are there i hope you have understood these formulas so for saturation for saturation i have already explained this characteristics as per this basic calculation right which we have seen it in my last video now i think you are having fair enough idea about how linear and saturation region that is there with mosfet and how gm rd that changes with respect to operational region and based on that we can solve many problems in future coming videos till if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video